Thank you, Richie. <laughs> well, I tell you, back in 1987 when I first got into wrestling, I never ever dreamed of being in a Hall of Fame. All I wanted to do was go to wrestling every week. Doesn't matter if I won, lost, got my butt beat, it didn't matter. And it took these guys up here teaching me respect, a little bit about the business. Guys like Doug Griffin, the Piper, these guys right here is what made it fun for me. Like I said, whether I was getting my butt beat or what. And I want to thank you all for this great honor. Thank you. Yeah, you know, I don't, I got partners that talk for me. I'm getting ready up here to talk 30 minutes for your minute. But I appreciate this, I really do. I mean, this just means a lot to me. And something Jimmy said a while ago, when I was brought up, told Junior Motos wouldn't train me. He beat my, my behind. I mean, he beat me bad. And uh, you learn a lot of stuff back in those days. You learn respect. You learn when the pros come in the dressing room, you get up and give them your seat. You always introduce yourself. You stay out of the way. These boys now, these boys up here, a lot of them I know. Got good talent up there. Got respect. Some of them I don't know. I hear, you know, you hear everything, but I've heard that you got something they got no respect. But let me tell you something, boys. No matter who you are, you got to remember where you're going and who took you there. These people here, you can make these people right here, you can make them hate you right now. That's it. And you do your job. Right now, there's no there's no bad guys, good guys anymore. I remember never we used to work, me and uh, Larry, or me and Junior, I first started wrestling. I was teamed with them, the disciples. We wrestled Rich and Chance. You know who the good guys was, you know who the bad guys was. And you know, you can tell the ones that had experience, the ones that didn't have experience. But my I, I'm just rambling on here, and y'all don't give a heck, but, but my thing is these guys up here, the young guys, always remember where you're going and who's going to take you there. Huh? I ain't got no all switch. But, <laughs> <laughs> but it's all about respect. You take Terry Walker right there. Terry Walker, I remember ever he was just breaking in 20 years ago. The Skull. Brian, he's been around all of his life. You know, Doug Griffin, he's been here three or four days. At least. I've watched you work. It's been three or four days. It's been three or four days. But I love this. I appreciate everything everybody's ever done. And if I've made y'all mad over the years, shit, I don't care. I didn't know it. Like I always said when I was wrestling, when the king's in the house, you need to stand up and show some respect. Hey, man, don't do that. Stand up and show some respect. <laughs> 33 years I've been in this business. Loved every moment of it. Even when I had my head busted open, I still loved it. I appreciated everybody that turned out. I appreciate everybody that turned out tonight. And like Kenny Arden said, if I made you mad, I was just doing my job. Now, fellas, let me give you a little bit of advice. The main thing you got to learn in this business is keep your mouth shut and your ears open. When somebody tells you what to do, you do it. You don't argue with an old pro. If, he, if he's been there before you and he knows what he's talking about, a lot of you people won't never leave this building. You won't go anywhere. There's no NWA or WCW anymore to go to. A lot of us have been there and learned from the old pros and brought it back to you, so you need to learn to listen. It's not all about high flying. It's not all about jumping and this and that. You've got to get on the mat. You've got to learn some basic holds. You've got to start from the bottom and work your way up to consider to call yourself a professional wrestler. All right. If you got a hero, guys, remember this. The biggest hero you got is your dad. Daddy, Uncle Roy. We've done it because of love of the business. Guys, I don't want to preach to y'all. I know everybody's preaching to you. But remember, it's the business. It's all about the business. It's not about you. It's not about the individual. It's business. It's these fans. You come out here, you make them happy, you've done your job. And I agree with you. Man, I got so tired of here seeing you in chance. No matter where we went for about six years, it was constantly the Choo Choo City Rockers and the Disciples no matter where we're at. My brother, I love you. 
Oh, that's just one thing. That was just one thing. There is no more disciples. Class, Southern Wrestling Hall of Fame, class of 2012. Give it up one time. I'm going to have to interject for just a second. Now, see, I'm new here to SCW, but I've been sitting in the back listening to you guys ramble for almost an hour now. And there's one thing that's bothered about. See, these are the true, true representations of old school. And I, 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 I admire that. But the key word there is old. You see, these people... They want to scream about respect, and these same old timers that are screaming about respect are talking down about the new generation. And that is why. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold it right there. Hold it right there. Hold it right there. Of course, we get in Let me th let me tell you something, bro. I, I know your daddy. I know you when you was just knee high to a stinking grasshopper, boy. Now let me tell you something. You're coming out here right now. You're not just disrespecting me. You're not disrespecting these guys. You disrespected every one of these fans out here. If I may, please. There's two things I can't stand. That's a messy baby and a crying man. Let me tell you something, boy. I got boats that's older than you. You'll never go where we've been, any of us. And I would be watching my back anytime I climb in that ring after this night, because when somebody runs their mouth like that, this brotherhood is watching. Well, why wait till another night, guys? You know, how about tonight, Mister OMG? You want to you want to be all that in a box of chocolates? How about that, sir? How about tonight? You step up in that ring, and I tell you what. Me, I'll represent the old school guys tonight. I'll tell you what. I'll show you what old school's all about. Me and you. How about it? How, how about it one time? Let's see how much. Let's see how much you got, boy. Do you people? Hey, we like don't you? care what you think, boy. These people don't have a problem. Let me tell you something. You gotta run your mouth and you disrespect these people. These people don't hear nothing you gotta say. Best thing for you to do is go on back in the back. And it's going to be to stick my number 12 straight where the sun don't shine, boy. You don't want to see that. Why not? We can do it right now. We can do it right now. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. Jimmy Sharp. These people don't want to see that. Shut up, boy. I'll whoop you like I used to whoop your daddy. You just better be glad that Jimmy Sharp took the challenge instead of me. Now you want to talk about all my brothers I got respect for your daddy I got respect for every man on this stage But when you talk about old men Let me tell you something You ain't even got enough dirt On the bottom of your shoes To even be in the ring with us And matter of fact And matter of fact Let me tell you something This old man that you're talking to you right now In the morning when I poop He comes out posing at you Richie, I know you the man right here. You can sit up any man. Let, how many of y'all want to see that match right here tonight? How many of y'all want to see that tonight? Can we get it done, Richie? We don't care what you I'm want. A modern day oh, day. my God. I'm going to tell you what. West Blaze, it's one thing you come out here and disrespect to everyone else. But you've heard us talk, a lot of us talk tonight. You've heard us talk about our fathers being our heroes. You're disrespecting your own father back there. And I'm sure that he would like to see you get your hat in too. Am I the man in charge? Yes, I'm the man in charge. And that match will happen tonight.
It's been said, let it be done. Now, who's ready for some wrestling? Big Brian, you ready to ring that bell and get some action started? Hey, let's rock it, man. All right, brother, let's go at it.